Hi everybody, I'm Sophie and today I let my hedgehog pick my makeup for the second time. So I let her pick my eyeshadow and the thought I had for this was, so I broke my eye makeup routine into eight steps. Base color to set my primer, transition shade, crease shade, outer corner shade, lid shade, inner corner highlight, and two colors for the lower lash line. And so I let Mia pick eight palettes and then one color from each of those palettes. And now I will apply them to my eyes. <laughs> it's definitely gonna be a look. I'll show you the footage as I go through the steps, but I've already seen what she picked and um, it sure is interesting. So I tried to set them out as evenly as possible and I will put her in the middle and she has to pick eight palettes and the order that she picks them is the order that they'll go on my eyes. And she's in here, if you can't hear her. Just sleeping away like the calm little girl she is. Mia, you ready? You ready to do this again? We have to do this eight times. Could you move a little faster? Oh, Gigi is excited. Touch one. You're so close. Okay, I feel like she, like she wants this one. She didn't really touch it, but we're on time crunch. Mia, what are you feeling next? Are you gonna go for this one, Graveyard Girl? Literally walk in any direction. You're just sitting. Okay, great. Palette number two. Yes, we're moving a little faster, huh? Palette number three. Palette number four. Oops, <laughs> I put her in the in the palette pile. <laughs> I meant to put the palette there. I'm sure she touched it. Five, three more. We'll miss Mia. Walk that way. Okay, it's a tighter circle now. Six. Seven. <laughs> One more, Mia. You walked in between two. There we go, perfect, eight. All right, so we took a little break, so Mia's back sleeping, I'm sure. Yeah, she's sleeping now. So the palettes that she chose correspond with a step of eyeshadow. So the first palette is the base shade, then transition color, crease color, outer corner, and so on. So the first palette she chose for the base shade is the Morphe Kathleen Lights collection. And now she will pick what color should go all over my eye to set my eyeshadow primer. Pick a color, any color. How about we put you on the palette? Now walk towards something. Sniff one. Okay, she stepped in that one. <laughs> so we're using this white shade, which actually is great. Good job, Mia. Now, on to transition color. So for the transition palette, she's picked this lovely rainbow palette. Now, Mia, what shade is speaking to you? Transition color, Mia. We need a transition. Mia, Mia, don't run away. Let me pick it. Okay, <gasps> she stepped close to this blue color. So that's our transition shade. Now for the crease shade, we have the Graveyard Girl palette. Mia, what do you like? It smells good. You should be attracted to this. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, don't know which one you stepped in first. It looks like she stepped in, well, let me look at her paws. Looks like she stepped in this red shade first. So that is our crease. Now we have the ColourPop Fame palette and she will be picking an outer corner shade. Mia, pick. Stop going that way. Why do you walk so fast when you aren't near the palette? Outer corner, Mia. We're going outer corner. 
Okay, she stepped close to this one. This color right here. So that's our outer corner shade. This palette will be the lid shade. We have some fun options here. Go this way. Mia, go this way. Mia, go this way. All right. I basically put her on the palette. Okay, looks like I have no clue. <laughs> We're gonna go with this one because she made a really big scratch in it. Love you, Mia. This is the palette for the inner corner highlight. Oh great, she licked it. <laughs> so that's the color for the inner corner. And now we have two palettes for the lower lash line. So I'll have her pick them at the same time. Okay, this is the first one. And she's walking away. Pick the second one. Mia, you have this. This is the last one, and then you can go back to sleep. Last one. Put you right there. You, you missed all of them. Can you sniff one? Does one smell good? Okay, perfect. This is the last color for our eye look. Thank you, Mia. You've done a fantastic job. So as you can see, Mia picked the Morphe Kathleen Lights collaboration for my base color. And this was really the color to you know, set the tone for the whole look. And Mia actually chose a light color for setting my primer. She chose this sparkly white shade, which I can deal with because it wasn't black or something like that. Okay, now next is the transition color. And the palette that Mia so thoughtfully chose for this um, is the Morphe 35B palette aka the rainbow palette. Now, of course, Mia enjoys a rainbow, but I don't know if I quite enjoy it for my eyeshadow look. But she has chosen this blue color. So let's put it on, shall we? One, two, three. Isn't that a beautiful look? But the fun doesn't stop here. Now we need a crease shade. Oh, and for this wonderful crease shade, Mia has chosen the Graveyard Girl palette and she's chosen this nice, dark, rusty brown red. And it will go just so nicely with this blue transition shade. Four, happy, happy, happy hedgehog sniffling the ground. Prickly, tickly, spiky hedgehog, see him walking around. Please be quiet, not to sound. So this isn't blending that well. So I think I'm going to have to go back into the transition shade and just blend it all together. Now, technically, this should create purple because it's blue and red, but it doesn't. It creates a nice poop brown type of color. Remember this because... If he hears the littlest sound, this is what he does. Roll, roll, roll into a ball. Now for our outer corner color, Mia has chosen a silver, gray, sparkly color. Now, I'm not usually the one to put sparkles on my outer corner, but uh, we must do as the master orders, so. Roll, roll. Roll until you're very small. Roll, roll till we can't see you at all. Let's roll into a very... Now as great as this looks, the fun doesn't stop here. We now have our lid shade, which is the Scorpio from the Kathleen Lights collection, um, which has a nice deep fingerprint in it. Who cares about maintaining the product. Mia just really liked this one. She wanted it on herself. So we're gonna pack this on the lid now. Prickly hedgehog ball. One, two, three, four. Happy, happy, happy hedgehog sniffling the ground. Prickly, tickly. Now, I think we've taken this eye look to a whole new level of bruise. Like I was just punched twice in both eyes and this is the after effect. And I'm really thinking that that's where Mia was going with this look. I think she had a vision and she executed it quite nicely. 
So now we move on to the inner corner shade, which Mia has chosen for us. This nice peachy brown. I don't know where her intentions were with this color, but it definitely throws off the bruised look that we were so effortlessly attaining with the other colors. I understand now why Mia has chosen this color. It takes the bruised look to a more realistic version where even now my inner eye and nose area is bruising with this fresh red brown bruise. I apologize Mia for questioning your vision. This is obviously coming together. Now we have the final two colors. They were picked from the palettes of Modern Renaissance and Dream Street, and they really complement each other. The first is this nice dark brown color to really intensify the black eye effect. And then we have this bluish iridescent color. I'm guessing she picked this to show off and really intensify the blue from earlier, the one we used as a transition shade, she really wanted people to know or believe that I had been punched in the eyes. So this is the final look. I added some mascara, not like you can see it, but I think it really adds to the look when you see me up close. It was all chosen by the wonderful Princess Emilia Mionet Thermopolis Ronaldi, Princess of Genovia, AKA Mia. I like it. I think it has character. In the wise words of Michael Scott, would you rather be feared or loved? Easy. I want people to fear how much they love me. And I think this eye look really says fear on it. But Mia's ready to go back to bed. I've woken her up way too many times. Oh. And so I think I will sign off for now. If you enjoyed, I hope you subscribe. Stay tuned for when I post something new. Maybe Mia will be back on my channel soon. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye. My hedgehog see him walking around. Please be quiet, not to sound. Remember this because if he hears the littlest sound, this is what he does. Roll, roll, roll into a ball. Roll, roll, until you're very small. Roll, roll, till we can't see you at all. Let's roll into a